Welcome back to the human resource machine. Hello. I have a fresh cup of coffee right in front of me, so I'm good to go. <laughs> okay. And this game is so atmospheric. I yeah, love I it. Oh. Oh, we did not finish the busy mail room completely. Size and Why? speed. Actually, size was okay, but speed, speed can be faster. Speed? I have to take a look. No, this cannot be done faster. Hmm. This is incorrect. There's nothing faster than picking up one and putting it down immediately. Challenge three, three. from three and... Speed. 30 steps? In 25 steps. Mm -hmm. Wait. So it took 25 steps. We took 30 steps. Five extra steps. Auto exa. Is it always the same word? Auto exa. Auto ex egg. Okay. Let's double check if it's the same word again. Because I could see if I violate, so if we violate size, we could finish it faster. Uh, back? No, it's still on. Because I'm thinking if we don't jump. Mm -hmm. Oh, jump is an extra step. Jump is an extra step. So you have to... How to exit, so... Copy, paste? No. A, U, T, O, E, uh, X, Wow. E and a C. Now that vi violates size. Like, is it? Did I miss one? No. Another poss possible influence. Yes, you are. Give us one person's cause or solutions to fail. Okay. Stop and reset. Okay. Well, so you have to jump. Yeah, it fails, but... Initial. So kind of stop. That's a different length input, probably. Mm. Okay, it. yeah, so it does not work. You cannot cheat your way out of this. How do I clear, though? Okay, clear. If you don't jump it, it won't work. If you don't jump, it won't work. So why 25? You could though, if if the test input is always divisible by two, you could do that. That works if all test input is divisible by two. Yeah, so now we completed the, the speed challenge. What about the size? Use you know, we violated the size. Let's check if... Mm, yes, so you don't have to complete both at the same time. Uh, okay. Interesting. So you would have to violate one of those. Well, at least it's possible. At least it's possible that mm -hmm. you have to do that. Mm -hmm. But I would assume that in most cases, the most... Well, actually I don't. I would not assume that. 
because the 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 thing if if you roll out a loop um that's we did that partially but if you roll out the loop it's usually faster than using a loop mm -hmm. and the jump thing is essentially a loop yes. so if you roll th something out you you speed things up but but on the other hand it didn't look very um tidy yeah and it also it it, <laughs> it clearly wasn't because if any of the test inputs I don't know what it does when there's no input if it just stops. It depends on it depends on the language right here. If if that's actually if that's now undefined behavior or something. Mm. But, <laughs> but as most programmers, you know, eh, it compiles. Who cares about undefined behavior? <laughs> Tetracontiplier. Right. That's the next one. Let's go on. Oh. Uh, what a wonderful feeling when all your work over the last few years all comes together and accumulates in a well-executed assignment. Okay, so multiplying by 40. So there's a prime number in there that's 5 and the other one we did before because it's 5 times 8. 5 times 8? Five time, 5 times 8, yeah. Okay, I just grab the thing and the, the item in the inbox, put it into zero. Mm -hmm. I have a three. Yeah, so you have three in hand, three on the floor. Okay, times 40 is five times... Five times eight. Five times eight, yeah. Uh, yeah. So you want to multiply by eight and multiply by five uh, in any order, you can. Okay, I do uh, multiply by eight first. Then I have okay. just to do the same thing as before. Yeah, just what you did earlier. Okay, and this one. Uh, what did I do? Um, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I already forgot. <laughs> I okay. remember as if it was yesterday. <laughs> it was today. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, okay, okay. Uh, so I have a th uh, add the three, so I have a six. You've got six in hand and three on the floor. I could have a three on the floor. And I want to do this two. Yeah, so now you want to, you want to, you multiply ah, okay. the eight. I now, want right? to, I, I want to to put the six on the floor yes and not copy from but co mm -hmm. now i want to double that double what you got in hand yeah by adding yeah. the same thing okay do that three times then i have two uh how do you say uh two to the power of three uh, two to the power. okay um Copy two and add the same thing. Uh, add the same same thing. Yeah. Now this gives you three times two to the power of three. Now you multiply by five. Okay. M multiplying by five is adding the same thing five times. So you now have what's three times eight, times eight? Three um, times it is twenty-four. It's twenty-four. They've got 24 in hand and 12 on the floor. And 12 on the floor. So I want to put the 24 on the floor. I think so, yeah. So copy two. And that five times. Actually, no, add, no as long, you have the value there now once, if you copy it there. Yeah. And uh, now you have 24 in hand and 24 on the floor, so. You have to want to add that five times. Yeah, you want to add 24 five times. One one time is already in your hand, so you have to add it four more times mm -hmm. from the floor to the hand, I think. So four more additions. Um, add two. Not add two. I'm, I'm, I'm just, no, 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 the, the, the add is correct, but it's add. Because up, up there it says copy two. And copy from, and I, I assume that this, I, 
I associate the two with the reference on the floor, and that's why I just okay. copy two. It sounded like a command. Uh, copy to zero, and then add it to what you <coughs> add the thing and, you have yeah. on the hand to that on the floor. Yeah, you you, you, you can't call time. yourself the accumulator. But you need to do that multiple times with the floor, right? Yes, well, I just want to see what okay. happens. Six. Six. Now we're done with the multiplication by eight, and we're starting to add. So now you multiplied it by two, but you actually wanted to multiply it by, by, by five, five. Which is interesting. Now you yeah. have 24 on the floor. Will he put? Uh, will she put that 48? If on she, the floor? if she, no, no, because we we wanna add the 24 five times. We added it twice. Now we added three more times. Okay. And I just uh, noticed a pattern here. Uh, sorry if. Um, Times, three times, four times. Yeah. I know the pattern. I can do any multiplication now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, better than this, you mean? And not necessarily better than this. Okay, first put it in the output. I think I can do it exactly like this, but I no now know what we're actually doing. I have no idea, I did not do the math, so I don't know if the calculations are correct, but she'll tell us. Okay. We finished it perfectly, but let's go back. This, this construct here, copy two and add, this is a multiplication by, uh, by two. This is a multiplication by one. Mm -hmm. which is actually pointless. Um, this is a multiplication by by three. This is a multi uh, this could be a multiplication by four. Yeah, this one will be by four because you always have one in hand mm -hmm. and you add the amount that's, that's left. So now I need to throw this out again. <laughs> Otherwise, you don't complete the assignment. Oh, you mean like this? The, the 4 adding here in line 9 to 12? This yeah. is a, a multiplication by 4? In, if, you include the, in, if you include the this line. The line 8. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so because hidden right here, like this right here, um, it says adding now, but you actually have one in, one of one copy is in your hand. Mm -hmm. And you add four times to it, so that's why the sum of it is five. And you need to kind of set up the you set up the the, um, the register zero, mm -hmm. and then you use it to do the multiplication. Mm -hmm. And that's why this is four, right? Yeah. And this is multiplying by two, so this is why this is one. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not I'm not saying anything new, but. Um, do to myself, faster. no, we're not. We're not even. We can't even do it faster. I think this is the fastest way. No, possible. I mean putting down the things faster for us because I. Oh yeah, uh, as uh, as like assembling the program. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Because now I have to think. Well, do I add? Do I copy or whatever? Yeah, and this should be equally fast. This is a multiplication by four and has the same amount of uh, steps. Mm -hmm. Okay. You even have one less step, right? No, it's no? a because I just replaced the copy to zero with a copy to ah. uh, with an addition. Okay. It's exactly the same. Should be exactly the same. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We did it. 
Okay, zero let's do the zero exterminator. Year seven. Where do you see yourself in five years? Or ten years? I have not... Uh, I have a note here from your other boss that says from this point on your performance will be evaluated with extra scrutiny. Okay. What a treat. <laughs> Send all things that are not zero to the outbox. Okay. So you have to check first. Uh, take one thing first here. Take one thing. Um, Jump if zero, right? Send all things that are not zero. So if it's zero, we take the next thing. Yeah. Okay, so jump if zero to, to the inbox. Yeah. Okay. And if it is zero, we drop it to the outbox. If? No, no, no. Wait a second. Because now it only passes the line two if it is zero, right? Mm -hmm. So every value that's not zero, it jumps. Uh, sorry, every value. Every value where it's zero, it jumps again. Mm -hmm. If it's not zero, then it, it continues. Okay, then put it in the outbox. Mm -hmm. There you go. Should be. That should be. And then you have to repeat that whole thing, right? Oh yeah, you're right. Let's see. I missed that. Huh. Oh no! No, no, no it's oh, okay. Because okay, okay. it was zero. zero and she just stood there. Nice. Hey. <laughs> zero preservation initiative. Okay. It has come to our attention that the zero advocacy community felt to uh, felt the previous assignment was not inclusive <laughs> this time send only the zeros to the outbox what happens to the other numbers and letters management leaves that detail up to you oh. okay Send all the zeros okay if uh, we start with grabbing something uh, uh, jump if zero jump if zero to um, the outbox. To the outbox, yeah. No. Tom, if you, you, no. You, yeah, well. Well, how do you do that? Inbox, this is a two. It's not a zero. What do you want to do? You can... You want to detect that it is a two. Okay, so you... Tom, if zero. This no, you. The, I is, think. Is this the only? You multiply it. You multiply it by two. And. And if the value is still zero after that, you know it was a zero. Okay. Wait. We, we can. We can just check if it's a zero. <laughs> but here is only the the. What do you say? The command if zero jump. Jump to what? Yeah. To the beginning, no, you want to, if it's zero, you want well, to Well, if it's zero, you want to jump where the outbox is. So j just put that in there. Just put it in there. So jump to and set this below, right? Because it's, no, um, the, the other one, yeah, the tag, yeah. Oh, um, you can do that and then, then put it to the top. outbox. And if it's not zero, then it's inside this jump, right? Then you jump to the beginning. To the beginning, to the inbox. Yeah, so if it's not zero, kind of we're, we're in the middle of... I'd love to have a comment. I put an ad here, but, but the, the, in here is where, where, where things happen if it's not zero. Yeah, that's right. And we want to skip it if, if it's not zero. Yes. And yeah, so we, all we have to do is skip it. Okay. Can we? Well, he said we can do whatever we want. Can we put it into uh, on the carpet? Maybe? Well, we could, but we don't. We can throw it away, right? We can just grab the next thing. 
Yeah, that's right. It's more and more more, more efficient. efficient. Yeah. Um, put it in the outbox, and we want to do that. No, no. Yeah, but that my add command is just a placeholder. It's actually incorrect. Ah, okay. That's I thought. I thought, I thought that a, that would, would right make sense. Already. No, 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 no. Okay, what do we want to do in the meantime? If so it's not if it's not zero, then it's in there where the add command, the placeholder is right now, right? Uh, will it just if we if we leave the add command, does it just uh, throw the two away? Or the no, 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 no. The the add command is completely pointless. We will not have the add command in the final version. Yes, that's that, uh, I understood right. that. But if we put it away, yeah, just put it away. Uh, you want to, just wanted to say that this is it the does line. something in Yeah, because there. there's no line number there between, and I wanted to have a line number, like something that we can reference mm -hmm. for, for us in conversation when we talk about it. Okay, so we don't have to put anything in there. I, I think we have to do something in there where the ad was before. Ah, okay. Because that is, if, it's, if it is zero, it jumps down and puts it in the outbox. But if it is not zero, we want to grab the next thing, right? Because if, it if it's not zero, we wanna then we don't put it into the outbox. And if we if we were we, if we would not do anything, it would just continue. Okay, then. Well, that's something. Maybe, it, maybe look look at that and the step step through it. Step through it. Maybe. Just if you grab, see, it's not zero, mm -hmm. but it comes to it goes to the outbox. Because it did not jump. So, so what I mentioned or what I suggested at the beginning to put it on the floor. Um, it yeah, would but be then an extra step. But that's but it's not putting it on the floor. It's just copy to floor. Then you have one copy in hand and one copy on the floor. Ah, okay, okay. I see. I see. So, but. At the beginning, when he uh, had one copy in his hand and he went over there, he just threw it away, right? Well, you can try it. Yes, yes, I want to try that. Um, copy two. So what do you? Then not to the outbox, but to the income. Just uh, to, the to, the, to the income. Yeah, I think you just grab the next one. Yeah. No, wait. Wait a second. Grab the next. Yeah. Here, like that. Th no. No. <laughs> Try it. Try it. <laughs> I think now you actually copy everything except for zeros. <laughs> Either. No, uh, not exactly. <laughs> ah, I see, I see. Wait a second. Mm, inbox again. Go mm -hmm. to the inbox. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see what he does now. That's what he does. But now. Now it jumped over this because he has a zero. Now it should go to the outbox. Away yeah, but you, because there's no outbox command. Oh, okay. Now the outbox command goes here. Mm -hmm. I think you can actually leave the copy to command out of there. Because that worked like a charm. Now there will be a problem though. Because of the outbox? It did not check again. It just took it from the inbox and puts it to the outbox. It did not check again if that is actually zero or not. Okay, like this. So. Yeah, I think you need another jump actually instead of the copy two. Another jump. Mm-hmm. In there, here. Yeah. Jump to the inbox. Mm-hmm. So jump to kind of the start of the program. So. If, if it's zero, you put it to the outbox, then restart. If it is not zero, you just restart immediately. Mm, okay. Both of these jumps mean restart. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. So it just throws it away. That's what I wanted. So, okay. Mm -hmm. 
go faster. Yeah, and both both of these actually mean restart, restart the whole thing. The jumps just mean restart. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Too we many. took too many steps. So, do we want to repeat it? Mm. Yeah, I'd like to take another look. Too many steps. So too many jumps maybe. Maybe too many jumps, yeah. Um So if zero, maybe you can get rid of one jump, but that's not. If in. That's not reducing anything. Um. Inbox. Check if it's zero. Yeah, what you did earlier is actually. Oh, but it's another step. Probably, yeah, but we're failing on on the amount of executions, not on. Uh, we're not we're not failing. So we, we already cracked this is a step quest. Yeah. Now we're trying to unroll something, so we get it done faster. Okay. So if it's zero. And now do another jump of zero. Yeah, and that now completes it faster. Is it fast enough though? Or do we have a do we have another layer of unrolling that I should do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We just did I essentially, we copy pasted the whole program program inside of one loop, and by that, by doing so, we skip one jump. In okay. in most cases, we just, we skip one jump. But I, but what I don't understand is that why those two challenges, to well, you don't why, have to why do they it don't together. Yeah, well, think about um, think about something to do. You want to do something that's actually that let's go back to the first challenge let's go back to the first challenge oh what did it <laughs> went back. we have to go to the <laughs> elevator because it's it's really it can be made obvious there i think okay continue to elevator um is it no it's Probably busy mail room because that's where the loop was introduced. I think. Yeah. See, if I do this, mm -hmm. one step, two steps, three steps. We had another step here. See. Yeah. Okay. Now the second item. One step, two steps, three steps. So it takes three steps per item, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. If I unroll this, this loop right here, and let's start this. One step, two step. One step, two step, three step. Mm -hmm. So it took me two steps for the first item, three steps for, steps for the second item. So I took a total of five steps just because I did not jump. Yes. So I, I would average 2.5 steps instead of averaging three steps. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes it faster. Because inside a processor, which we are, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we uh, jumping is is an execution. The, the the thing on top here is just a label, just the address where to jump to, yeah. just a label. And jumping itself is, um, yeah, it's a processing step. Yeah, it's a processing step, and that's why if we if we avoid the jump, we gain speed. I could go so if I run this all the way through. It would list like, I don't know, mm 
uh, yeah, 25 steps. Mm. Okay, let's let's do it faster. And all we have to do is is add a bit more um, nice. unrolling, like uh, auto exec. Mm -hmm. uh, auto is four, one, two, three, four. So we should we should be able to get this done with one jump. But let's go for this, and now now we should get even lower with the execution time. We only had one jump in there. Um, and we could, um, so we below the challenge value, I, I would assume, and we could get one execution, like one one step faster, if we pack this loop completely full, because mm -hmm. then we would never jump. So three, and this should allow us to never jump. We, we, we're not even reaching the jump statement. So we're done with the challenge before we reach the, the jump statement. So mm -hmm. this should be the fastest execution time. And because of the loop, it also does not fail on other test data. <laughs> I mean, the size is horrific. Yes. Um, and it depends on what you're optimizing for. If you're programming a microcontroller, yeah. size really matters. Yeah. Um, if you're programming a personal computer, size does not matter at all um, okay so 21 and we did the same thing inside the other loop mm -hmm. but just we unrolled it to avoid jumping okay so actually you have to optimize in one way or the other you have to decide okay. size or execution speed yeah. okay that's what I didn't understand mm -hmm. So you have to make a compromise yeah. when programming. D depending on what, what your needs are. Yeah, yeah. Too. Okay. Subtraction? Subtraction. I never learned that in school. Did you? We are a good team. <laughs> okay. Um, we are a good team. I am doing all the work here. We are a good team. I have the management power, like scheduling and meetings, Shouting and you do uh, the, the technical stuff. Yes, <laughs> running around and doing the math. Okay, for each two things in the inbox, first subtract the first from the second and put the result in the outbox, and then subtract the second from the first and put the result in the outbox. Repeat. You got a new command, subtract. Okay. So you have to use this copy to the, the floor, the floor thing. Um, Grab the thing. I didn't read the challenge. So just just start and I'll read on it. <laughs> read up on it. For each two things in the inbox. First, first you have the first, first from the second. From the second. Okay. Okay. Subtract so the first from the second. So you have to put the f in the four, but you have to subtract four from five. Yeah, the order matters, yeah. I think. So you can't do anything with the four first, so put it, copy it to the floor. Okay. Then you, and then you grab the you second, grab the second item from the inbox, put it on the next. Now you sure subtract the first from the second. You already have the second in hand. You can just subtract. Subtract. The accumulator has the has the second in hand. But which one does subtract from? The, the item on the floor from my hand item or the I, other way around? I would assume that it subscra subtracts. So if you do subtract, you select the the second parameter from the f from the floor and the first one so x minus something on the floor x is accumulator which you have in hand so mm -hmm. accumulator minus something on the floor i would assume and then you have the thing in hand changes subtract 
subtract ah, okay it says subtract zero so subtract the item in, in what do we call this i cannot call it a let's thing call it register. register register okay you can also call it floor well but this is just a part of the floor so that's not All very right. accurate too so yeah let's go with the register register okay <coughs> So subtract the register, the item in the register, and then and put it in the outbox. Okay, outbox. There you go. And then subtract the second from the first. I don't know if you actually noticed, but the register is labeled zero, one, and two. Yes. And that's the the computer array labeling. The great thing about that is. If you know where the floor space is, like this zero here, mm -hmm. and you add the index of the thing where you want to go, like if you, to the first, to the zero, mm -hmm. uh, let, I want to point the mouse to it. So if you, if you know where this, this floor tile starts, right, so this is the zero floor tile. If you add the index, if you add zero to wherever this is, mm -hmm you end up in the same one. If you add one to wherever this is, like one step, right? Mm -hmm. It's one step to the right from here, you end here. Yeah. If, you, if you start at one step, you add here. If you add two steps, you end here. So by starting the index at zero, you can actually, the, the, the zero is no special case. You can just add zero to, and make zero steps from here to get to element zero kind of removes the special case mm -hmm. where, where, where the first element would be something special. Okay. The, but we don't need it here. No, right? we don't, we don't need it. This is just extra nerdy for me. Oh, okay. This no, I didn't notice I that. just love it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the programmers of the game would be very happy. Someone Yeah, so, someone programmed <laughs> this. So I assume programmers program this. Yeah, which is it. yeah, it okay. did not program itself. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's for sure. Okay, what do I do now? Um, put the result in the outbox and then subtract the second. So, oh, I put it the out. So I come back. So, I and you actually need to store the other value. So I yes, think. yes. Okay. So when you inbox copy two. Yeah. Second. Okay, but then now what? Um, oh. Then you copy from. Then I copy. Uh, copy. Yeah, you need to pick up the. From the. Just so it's it's correct until the outbox, right? And then you do the next challenge. Yes. And now you, you get I them. I don't know if it's correct. Let's take a look. Because what does it subtract from? So four and now. So the set. Yeah, now it subtracts the four from the five. So it subtracts oh. the first from the second. Okay. And now you need to pick up so which now. one was the first. Uh, the this one was the first, first the five was the second. So Which one should you then subtract? Subtract the second, second from, from the first. first. So you need to pick up the first. So, so this is copy from. Copy from the first. So register zero was the first, right? So you have that in hand and subtract. Register one, because that's the second. And then put that to the outbox. Okay, well, I think that should be it. Long. And then you ju uh, jump, ju yeah. do the whole thing you again and again yeah. until you drop that. Until you drop that. That's exactly what she's doing. For one year. This actually takes one year to do. Not trivial. <laughs> Minus six. And These numbers are suspicious. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Okay. Size challenge. Well, this speed speed okay challenge. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's it's a good thing that they don't make us unroll this thing. Mm. That would be exceptionally boring. Yeah. 
by the next equalization room, but... Should we have a short break? Yes, I think so. Okay, so... So, hope you liked the video. If you liked, give us a thumbs up. Share on social media. Comment below. Tell your mother. Even... Tell your mother. <laughs> well, if she's a programmer, sure. She would yeah, if like she's a programmer, it. sure. If you want her to enjoy a great video, also, I guess. <laughs> Okay then, uh, don't forget to subscribe to see more of these kind of videos and uh, until next time. See you, bye. Bye.